This is Chris Anson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Perfectly Clear as a plugin in Lightroom, Photoshop, and Capture One Pro. Because Perfectly Clear does not yet support the DNG RAW files from the DJI drone cameras, the way that we get to work with it is by launching it from within these applications once you've imported it. So let's start with Lightroom. I'm in the library module in Lightroom. So within the library, if we want to work on more than one image at a time in Perfectly Clear, we can do that from here and we can select multiple images. To launch Perfectly Clear at this point, we right click on one of the highlighter selected images and we choose Edit In. And we can choose either Edit in Perfectly Clear Complete LR or Perfectly Clear V3. I'm going to choose this one. And notice that this is going to ed edit a copy of all of these with any Lightroom adjustments that you've made. Down here, I'm going to choose TIFF as my format. I'm going to use Adobe RGB as the color space. I'm going to use 16 bits because I want the most information available. I'm going to use a resolution of 300 and I'll leave the compression at zip. Now I'm going to click on edit. So that's going to create three TIFF files in the background and then launch perfectly clear using those TIFF files. It'll also do some pre-processing on the images and of course you can turn those off or on and choose your own combination of presets and selecting individual items here on the right in each of these sections. So once we've made our changes, if we click Save, it will bring those changed images back into Lightroom for you to do any final process. One thing to remember is even if you click on Close, that TIFF is still going to be here, even if it doesn't make any changes to it. So you can see here, we have the TIFF file and we have the original DNG. So that's how you do it in Lightroom. If you want to work on just one image at a time, you can do that from here. And again, you can right click, edit in, and choose edit in perfectly clear complete LR. And that will do the same thing. Now on to Photoshop. So on Photoshop, the way that I work with Perfectly Clear as a plugin is when I open up my DJI DNG RAW files, I will often set everything to default settings and open it as an object. And the reason that I do that is because if I want to get back to the original DNG RAW, I can double click here, fine tune the image even after I've done other adjustments within Photoshop. The other thing that this allows me is to move back and forth between perfectly clear as a smart filter. So here I'm going to click on filter and go to Anthetech Imaging and choose perfectly clear version 3. At this point I can go through all the different processes to edit this and click apply and that brings this back in to Photoshop with those adjustments made. Now here's the beauty of this. If I double click on Perfectly Clear version 3 at this point, because I've made the object a smart object, all of these filters are smart filters. And so I can come back in to Perfectly Clear. It remembers all of the settings that I had originally and I can fine tune this and then apply those settings. It'll then make the changes, render, and update this. So that's how I use Perfectly Clear as a plugin inside of Photoshop with my DNG RAW files. Now in Capture One Pro, I'm going to show you two ways to edit using Perfectly Clear. The first way is to right click on the image that you want to edit and to choose Edit With. This is going to take any adjustments that we made in Capture One Pro and pass those on to Perfectly Clear. Again, I'm using a 16-bit TIFF. I'm choosing Profoto as my ICC profile, 300 pixels per inch, fixed scale, and I'm choosing Perfectly Clear from the dropdown. I'll click on Edit Variant, and that's going to launch Perfectly Clear for us. 
So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose the landscape mid-afternoon setting, and then I'm going to click on Save. So it's going to save it into the original folder, although we could choose a custom location. It's going to add an underscore perfectly clear to the name of the photo so we know that it's been worked on in perfectly clear. I've got it set so it'll overwrite and replace if it finds the file name already existing. I'm saving it in TIFF format and I'm going to save it in Adobe RGB format. I could, of course, choose any of these and I'm going to click on Save. I'm going to click on Close Photo and then I need to close out a Perfectly Clear. So now back in Capture One, to be able to see the Perfectly Clear files that we just created, we'll want to come over to the folder icon here, go down to the folder that we were working in, right click on it and choose Synchronize. You can see it's going to import one new image into the catalog. We'll sync that and then we have our image. And you can see it's identified as the perfectly clear TIFF. Now back to the original image. If we want to work on the image without any of the Capture One adjustments, we would right click and choose Open With and choose Perfectly Clear. And what this will do is this will open it, it'll bypass all of the adjustments made to Capture One Pro, and we can do the same thing that we did previously with the edit with. So there you go. What we did today was looked at how we could use Perfectly Clear as a plugin inside of Lightroom, Photoshop, and Capture One. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And thanks for watching.